I come from the International Institute on Law and Society. We focus our job in indigenous people's rights. The last five years, we've been litigating a case before the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. I've been the responsible of the follow-up of this case. Uh, it's, the name is the Conga Gates, and it's a mega mining project that is affecting indigenous peoples in the north of Peru. I became a lawyer because I wanted to fight against injustice. Uh, but when I was finishing university, we traveled to the Amazon to visit an uh, indigenous people called Kandochi, and they were suffering from hepatitis B. And then I realized that in my country, at least in that moment, uh, indigenous peoples were suffering uh, the violation of the most basic human rights. And there was a lot of uh, indifference from civil society and the state. So I decided in that moment that I had to dedicate my life in this cause. Until now, I haven't faced any risk directly against uh, my person. Uh, but you know, uh, when you see other human rights defenders suffering attacks or threats, it's like you have the fear um, in some point maybe be in that group. We have uh, NGOs, a lot to do, but I think uh, United Nations and the mechanisms that the they have implemented has to make a request on civil society to watch the states and to watch business, for example, on what they are doing. I think the report that, for example, the special procedures uh, make and the country visits are helping a lot because uh, they are, in a way, uh, picking up all the information that it's in every country and also making recommendations to the states. Uh, to also business, for example, corporations, uh, and to civil society in general. First, I think I have achieved to protect indigenous leaders by a precautionary measure that was granted by the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights since I was the responsible in the following up of this case. And also I managed to finish my thesis regarding indigenous people's rights. It was a really hard research that took me four years, but I think this is a tool for indigenous peoples.